There are no clues that the breezy, grass-covered, empty lot at 66th and Ashland was once the master plant of Chicago's most famous bakery, or that the red brick storefront at 33rd and Wallace in Bridgeport was its first location. But it's true, although gone without a trace, Dressel's Bakery was for more than 60 years the maker of Chicago's most beloved special occasion treat, Dressel's Chocolate Fudge Whipped Cream Cake. Moist layers of chocolate fudge cake stacked around dreamy whipped cream with light chocolate buttercream slathered over all in a crushed nut garnish, Dressel's signature cake was Chicago's go-to for birthdays, anniversaries, christenings, and graduation parties, all kinds of special occasions. This was the Depression. People were, you know, they didn't have much money to spend, but when it came to a communion or a graduation or whatever, that was very important to them to get a Dressel's cake. Throughout the company's history, the chocolate fudge whipped cream cake outsold all other Dressel's cakes at a ratio of 60% chocolate fudge to 40% everything else. The story of that cake is the story of a hardworking immigrant family which brought the various talents of three brothers and generations of relatives and friends together and drew the acclaim of celebrities and Chicagoans alike. First farmers in Barrington, after coming to America from Germany in the early 1900s, the two older Dressel brothers, Joe and Bill, were initiated into baking by their uncle Lorenz Nock, who operated a bakery in Bridgeport at 33rd and Wallace. Joe and Bill bought the business in 1913, while they were still teens, and younger brother Herman pretty much grew up there, working full time in the bakery by the time he was 14 and becoming a partner in the business in 1923. To Joe and Bill's sales, production, and people skills, Herman, who is in charge of cakes, added his friendly nature, innovator's spark, and artistic skills, proposing the idea of a whipped cream cake in the early 1920s. It was a smash hit from the start. By 1929, it took two policemen to handle the Saturday crowds lined up down the sidewalk, and Dressel's was selling $2,000 to $3,000 worth of cakes in a day. They were priced at 60 cents, 75 cents, and $1. The volume didn't wane, building to more than 10,000 cakes a week by the 1940s, with 10 phone lines to take orders. It was just a time when things were developing right, right. and the at the 33rd Street store where they started they had an empty apartment upstairs and at holiday time they were maybe four or five days straight and all they did they worked eight hours go up and have a sandwich we had cots up there and they'd sleep for a few hours, get up and go back down to work. To handle that kind of demand, the Dressels started experimenting with freezing the layers of the cakes well before World War II, figuring out how to formulate the cake for best flavor. One of the challenges was making sure that when thawed, the cake would remain moist and light. That took innovation. Herman was an innovator, but also he sought out other innovators, just like that man in Wisconsin with the cream and the man with the eggs. They get together and just talk things over, and each of them had ideas, and they finally gel, they come together, and it was very, very successful. First, Dressels made sure that they cut no corners on quality. He always said that there will always be a market for quality. They used in-the-shell eggs, and they all came from one farm. Butter came from specific dairies, and they used one supplier for that throughout 40 years of history. And the cream, the heart of the cake, was brought in from dairies and pasteurized on site. Understanding the importance of that cream layer, Herman Dressel studied breeds of cow and the grasses that they were fed in order to hone in on the 
flavor of cream that he preferred, and those were from Holstein's in Wisconsin. As well, Dressel used the highest butterfat content cream and then actually added butter to the cream in a proprietary reverse process that he developed that was only used at Dressel's. He actually reconstituted the cream. We got the highest butter content we could find mm -hmm. and then added butter to it. And that's, oh. you see these these tanks here. Wow. And that's what gave it the consistency. He always liked to go to the source of the ingredient and know exactly how it was being produced. And, you know, uh, I think that was really an innovative type of thinking. And particularly in those days, that was really something you wouldn't see very often. Other early innovations included incorporating really finely crushed carrot pulp into the fudge cake layers for greater moisture retention. As well, cake layers were made with oil rather than butter, so that when chilled, the layers would not be as rigid. Buttercream was whipped with a percentage of vegetable shortening, which volumized better for a lighter mouthfeel than pure butter buttercream. And the uber buttery whipped cream itself was stabilized, which means it was given more firmness, with the addition of agar agar, a vegetable-based gelatin. Plus they did a very innovative on decorating. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah. The, they brought things to decoration of cakes that was never, ever seen anywhere else. So when you put, you know, a, a cake like that together that has all the right ingredients that really make it tasty, and then you make it pretty mm. and appealing, mm. you know, it just all clicked. While Dressel's cake was a production cake, no home baker can perfectly emulate Dressel's techniques. Lost Recipes Found worked with members of the Dressel's family to create a home-cooked version of the cake. As you're making this cake at home, Dan Dressel stresses it's important to remember that each layer of the cake and the whipped cream must be exactly the same thickness, and the buttercream must not be too thick. The goal is to ensure that when you take a bite of the cake, the flavors and textures are all perfectly balanced and you're not getting too much of one thing. I think every bakery had to have something special. Mm -hmm. It was specialty. Mm -hmm. It just happened that the whipped cream cake was ahead of itself in the baking business and he was able to perfect it mm -hmm. and it sold. So putting all the pieces together, now that you have the recipe for the Dressel's Chocolate Fudge Whipped Cream Cake in your hands, we hope you'll try making it at home. You'll be bringing a Chicago favorite recipe back to life in your own home kitchen. Mm -hmm.